Well, signs of progress at the Oklahoma City Fairground. Today, the new arena's official name was revealed. The new OG&E Coliseum is expected to be completed in the spring. And we got a sneak peek at how construction is going so far. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has details. This is going to be a structure that everybody that lives in Oklahoma City will be proud of. The OG&E Coliseum is nearing a major milestone. The only thing better than a topping out is, of course, a ribbon cutting. Thursday morning, the last roof truss will be placed. We really value this project very much. You think about the state fair and the fairgrounds, they serve everyone in Oklahoma and beyond. The $126 million facility was the first MAPS 4 project to get under construction. It'll replace the current Jim Norick Arena. Jim Norick Arena next year will be 60 years old. It was opened in 1965 and its time has run. Uh, I can tell you from where he's looking at us now, he's proud, proud of what's, what's going on. Well, this is what it looks like right now, but when all is said and done, the new OG&E Coliseum will have between 7,000 and 8,500 seats. There's never been a perfect project yeah. built and there never will be, but we're going to make our dead level best effort. The new building will include a lounge, suites, and a full service kitchen. It'll host all kinds of events, including prestigious livestock shows. The events that happen in this Coliseum are a major economic driver. Uh, for our community, but it's also really a, a cultural touchstone for our city and the state as a whole. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. It is not clear how much OG&E paid for naming rights. The contract is for 10 years. We'll have more on that tonight at 10. So a lot of concerts as a kid in the old arena there next to it. The construction on the new arena, arena is expected to wrap up by next spring or early summer.